fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hot Ohio silver, the Lone Ranger. for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Oh, Silver! Let's go, Victor! I'm Silver! Get the boss's name. Hey, what's all the rest? Grant, you get back inside the house. Oh, no. You guessed it. Now in you go, Grant. Now, do you hear this? Oh. All right, close that door. Grant, oh. you stole a lot of cattle yesterday and got paid off in cash. We want that money. I don't have it in the house. Oh. You didn't even slap me around. You'll get more than slaps if you don't produce cash. And make it fast. Then Dusky don't fool. Sandusky. You, you yeah, mean, you... I'm Sandusky. I've come back to collect some money. I figure this part of the country owes me. Mrs. Tundusky, I'm an old man. All I've got is... Never mind all that. <laughs> I'll give it to you. Where's the money? We'll help ourselves. In, 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 my, in my cupboard. I'll get it. It's in a little blue bowl. I got it. All right, that's all, boys. Clear out. Bye, boy. Grant, you're lucky we're leaving you alive. <laughs> Adios. <laughs> You can tell the sheriff that Sam Dusty has come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that bit of dirty on that bull cat. Sam Dusty. Sam Dusty, back here. Too smart for anyone to catch. Even outwitted the Roman Ranger. <laughs> Hendricks was the sheriff in the nearby town of Lunar City. He also owned the restaurant which served as the sheriff's office between meals. His daughter Sally made the place attractive to the town people. The girl looked up quickly when her father came in. Her face was flushed with excitement as she hurried past the tables. Sally, is anything wrong? Hey, Parker was looking for you. He's all excited. He wanted to tell you about Sandra. What's he know about that crook? He saw him. Think Parker did? Yes, Dad. I don't trust Parker too far. He has no reason to lie about this. He said that Sam Dusky and his gang were riding south on the lame horse trail. That makes three men who seen Sam Dusky. Well, maybe this will get some results. Look here. Something in the paper? Yep, I just came from the printing office. Len Bixby set up an announcement about Sandusky having returned to Luna City. Now look it over when you get a chance, Sally. 
See if I got the description right. You had a handbill on Sandusky. I know. I copied the description from it. Hey, sir. Hey, he's on that door, Macy. Sandusky is back. Have you seen him, too? Just a little while ago. He had his gang with him. He was heading toward Abner Grant's ranch. Are you sure it was a Sandusky gang? Dead sure. I was in a clump of trees. They rode so close I could almost reach out and touch them. Gone it, I thought the Lone Ranger had disposed of Sandusky for keeps. Yeah, so did I, but I guess Sandusky's too smart for the Lone Ranger. Well, why didn't you shoot the critter when you saw him, Macy? Uh, I'd shoot him, and the five men with him would shoot me. That's no bargain. Oh, here comes Abner Grant. Look out the front window, Dad. Yeah, sure enough. An Indian was helping him walk. Yeah. Grant's mighty unsteady on his feet. I wonder who the Indian is. Well, I reckon we'll soon find out. Howdy, Abner. Sir. I'll close the door. Yeah, I saw him heading towards Grant's place. They stole everything I had. I told all my livestock to get cash to go east. Where my boy lives. Oh, those dirty poor cats. Hey, Tonto. Uh, I'm sorry I got no money. I, I'd like to give you something for your trouble. Tonto? It's no, no trouble. Me come here anyway. Me want salt, other supplies. Maybe you sell them, Mama. Why, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, come on back to the kitchen. I'll get you whatever you want. Now, Abner, you tell me all you can about the crooks who stole all your cash. Three hours after Abner Grant had told his story to the sheriff, the supper time crowd filled nearly every table of the restaurant. In one corner, there were three townsmen named Macy, Taggart, and Ross. No one suspected that these were three of the masked men who had robbed Abner Grant. Macy was speaking. I was here when Grant was talking to the sheriff. He's convinced it was a damn dusty gang that robbed him. <laughs> we got nothing to worry about. Daggett, you sure know how to plan some things. You boys follow my orders, we'll all be rich. Be careful you don't arouse suspicions by spending too much money. I hear the sheriff has some kind of announcement in the newspaper. You hear anything about that, Macy? Mm hmm. Yeah. Paper doesn't come out till tomorrow, but the sheriff's got an advanced copy of it. Yeah? What would you say? It describes Sandusky. It tells everyone to be on the lookout for him. There's the sheriff now. Ask me show his copy. Good idea. Hey, 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 sir! Good evening, Dan. Howdy, sir. Howdy. How are you? Hey, sheriff, uh, I hear Sandusky's making more trouble. Yep. I've been out with a power sheet for the past three hours. I'm going out again as soon as supper hour is over. I was telling Ross and Taggart about your announcement in the paper. Have you got it handy? I'll get my co copy. Sally's put it somewhere. I'll ask her about it. Well, she's over there in the park. Oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, there. Sally, where'd you put that advanced copy of the newspaper? Well, Daddy, it's gone. You remember that Indian who came here with Abner Grant? Sure. What about it? Well, he bought some supplies and arrested him in that newspaper. Oh, gone it, honey. That's the only copy we had. Dad, I heard Abner Grant call that Indian Tonto. So I, well, I played a hunt. Huh? Do you remember when Sandusky was around here the last time? How could I forget? And the Lone Ranger was after Sandusky disappeared. And Dad, the Lone Ranger had an Indian friend named Tonto. Uh. It's not a common name. Now, maybe the Indian who came here is the Lone Ranger's friend. Uh, I wouldn't know. I never saw that masked man's partner unless... Unless he was the one who came in here today. Maybe after he left here with the food, he left the Lone Ranger. I see what you're getting at. I sent that paper in the hope that the masked man would see that article and know that Stand Up here come back to Lena City. Well, it's a chance. No harm done at any rate. That's what I thought. I, I, what is it, Sally? It's something in my pocket. I wonder. It looks like something wrapped in a piece of paper. Oh, yes, uh, it's a phone. Uh, yes. It's a silver box. Look at it. Well, the phone. I'll be waiting behind the restaurant. Dad, do you know what this means? The silver bullet means the whole way. Yes, and he'll be waiting behind the restaurant. But Dad, he was here. He must have been at one of the tables. I must have served a meal to him. And he dropped this note to my apron pocket. Great dear. He did see the paper, and he came here. Come with me, Dad. We'll go out and go back of the restaurant. The old ranger had been in the restaurant wearing a disguise in place of his mask. He was waiting beside the great, great horse, Silver, when Sally and her father came out the kitchen door. 
In the moonlight, it could be seen that the mask was once more across his eyes and nose. Then you did see the newspaper. You gave me this cartridge. Yes. Doggone it, Mr. Trey. I thought you'd get rid of the Sandusky and his gang. How many people have seen Sandusky's gang? Well, there have been several of them. Otto said the men who robbed Abner Grant wore bandanas over their faces. That's right. Grant might have been mistaken about their identity. He heard one of them call the leader Sandusky. Besides, there were others who just saw the gang. Well, you remember, Dad Ross saw them on there. He told you he was dead sure of Sandusky. No one could mistake Sandusky's face. One that gave a person a nightmare. That's right. right. Dad Ross saw them on there. And so did Saturday Clive. They were the first ones to tell me Sandusky would come back. I see. And Hank Parker saw the whole gang. They were riding along on the lame horse trail. Macy saw the gang, too. He saw those crooks on the way to Adner Grant's house. But, Sheriff, are you sure all those men told the truth? Well, the fact is, I wouldn't trust any one of them very far. If just one had told a story about seeing Sadowski, I might have taken it with a grain of salt. But with so many reports, I reckon it must be the truth. Oh, Adner Grant would tell the truth. I'd take his word any time. Yeah. Anyhow, why would anyone lie about seeing that outfit? That's what I'd like to know. Huh? How many were in Sandusky's gang? Six, counting the leader. Same as they were the last time they were in these parts. Sheriff, the last time I talked to you, I was trying to get that gang. I remember that. I succeeded. They were captured in Little Falls. They were? Did they go to jail? For a short time. Oh, then they broke out of jail, huh? No, no, Sheriff. They didn't break out of jail. They were taken out of jail to hang. To hang? I don't understand. Sandusky and all five members of his gang have been dead for the last two months. Why? After leaving the sheriff and his daughter, the Lone Ranger hurried to his camp near town where Toto was waiting. Briefly, he summarized what he had learned while Toto saddled his horse. The sheriff couldn't believe it when I told him that Sandusky and his men were dead. Oh, why him have doubt? Because Sandusky's been seen and identified by several men in town. Oh, that's not true. Him dead. The sheriff gave me the names of four men who swear they've seen Sandusky. Mm-hmm. Maybe they make mistake. No one could make that kind of a mistake. Sandusky had a face no one could forget. Um, who claimed to see it? Four men. Uh, I have their names. I learned where they can be found. Two of them, uh, Macy and Ross, are in the restaurant. The others are named Parker and Clive. Parker's house is nearest. We'll go to there first. Uh, what we do there? Ask questions? No. No, Toto. I have another plan. I'll tell you about it on the way. Yeah. Scout ready now. Good. Let's go. Easy to me. <laughs> Grant's money. Uh, who are you? Parker, Abner Grant tried to stall, and then he got slapped around. That's nothing compared to what I'm ready to give you. No, 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 wait. Wait a minute. Listen. Where is the cash? Uh, what makes you think? I, uh, oh. I warned you about stalling. Want more? Oh, no, no, I'll, I'll get the cash. I'm waiting, and I'm not, not patient. I, I, I've got the cash here in my pocket, but how did you know about it? I didn't know about it until so just now. See the money in your pocket. What? You mean you're not taking it? We're taking it. We're taking you with it. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
tightly bound and gagged and left in the Lone Ranger's well-concealed camp, while the masked man and Toto returned to town in search of the man named Clive. Careful inquiry by Toto brought out the fact that Clive was in the cafe. Say, you looking for Clive? Isn't that right. Well, let's say him in here. Yeah, he's back there at the rear table. A gent with a black hat. <laughs> Just came in with a nice piece of cash. I reckon he's celebrating. So I said, Fred, you'll find out about it. Oh, well, you see, boys, after everything was settled, I got a nice... What do you want, Richie? Uh, you, Clive. Yeah? A man in back. He talk. What do you mean? What does he want to talk about? It's, it's plenty private. Private. Oh. I'll be back in a few minutes, boys. I've got some special... Yeah. We go out back door. I don't know why he sends you in here instead of coming in himself. Who is he? You see, plenty quick. Where is this man? Right here. What? what? We have no time to waste with you. If you make any noise, we'll shut you up in a hurry. You're, you're mad. That's right. I have a rope for you. Hold his arms, Tuttle. He got it. Oh, I, I told you to be quiet. I will have to gag you. It's time for you to leave the cafe. But enough of that in their grants money. You'll hear the details later. He got rope on him. Good. Now give me a hand. I'll carry him on silver. You. Steady, boy. Let's up here, Tuttle. We'll stop at camp long enough to pick up Parker. Then we'll ungag the prisoners and take them to the sheriff's home. Uh, be ready. Come on, Silver. The sheriff and Sally were at home discussing the surprisingly sudden appearance of the Lone Ranger. The girl was pleased with the knowledge that the masked man had not failed in his effort to get the Sandusky gang. Dad, if you only knew how miserable I felt when I heard that Sandusky was back around here. <laughs> sort of disillusioned, eh, Sally? <laughs> yes, but not any longer. The Lone Ranger didn't fail. I sure hope he can do the same with these critters who are posing as the Sandusky gang. I wonder what he's going to do. Well, you heard what he said, honey. Said the men who claimed to have seen Sandusky must have lied. And he figured they did it for a purpose. So the Sandusky gang would be blamed for the theft of Abner Grant's money. Yep. Seems like a lot of trouble for six men to go to, just for Grant's cash. Hardly worthwhile. Unless... Unless what? Unless they figure on committing more crimes in the same way. I wonder what the masked man plans to do. Dad, someone's here. I'll open the door. Maybe it's the masked man. Get him. Get him there. Dad, look! Drag me. They got Parker and Clive. Do it. You have any complaints? Make them to the sheriff. They got me. The masked man. Sheriff, he, he came like a tornado. It isn't right. Get these ropes off me. Cut me loose. He slapped me around. I'll file charges. If you sent that masked man and the Indian to get a sheriff, it'll cost you your bed. Now hold on, Clive. I don't stand for it. I don't have to stand for it. Quiet. Sheriff, Parker has a lot of money in his pocket. He admitted that it was stolen from Abner Grant. Yeah. I deny that. I deny everything. You've got no proof. Clive has a lot of money in his pocket. I got it from an uncle in the east. You prove different. You're all a word against ours. Maybe a judge and jury will let a masked man testify, but I doubt it. I see. You've grown bold in the presence of the sheriff. No, look, mister. Sheriff, the men who identified Sandusky are the ones who robbed Abner Grant. You can't prove a thing. You admitted your guilt. You showed me the money. In your, your pocket right now. now. You try to prove it, Abner Grant's money. Just try, try to prove it. How about that, mister? <laughs> he admitted his guilt. You have any witnesses to that? No. Uh, that's bad. The judge in Lunar City is downright strict, and he calls for plenty of proof. Looks like I'll have to turn these critters loose. Oh, Dad. Not just yet, Sheriff. You can hold them here for a little while. Give, give me a chance. For what? Ross and Macy claim to have seen Sandusky. Give me time to find those two. How can you get that proof on them if you didn't get proof on these two? Let me try. I think there's Macy's house right now. They are? Well, when they left the restaurant, I heard Macy ask Ross to go go home with him. I see. Maybe I... What are you thinking about? Sheriff, I have an idea. I think it's worth trying. What is it? I'll need a lot of help from you. How far would you go to get the men who robbed Grant? Well, I don't know. Smash a gang at the beginning... A gang that might become as powerful and dangerous as the original Sandusky gang. I'd go a long way if, uh, if I didn't have to step too far outside the law. What's your plan? Your daughter said that Macy and Ross were together. I 
I want to borrow something from Clive and Parker. What? what do you mean, borrow something from me? Surely, Parker, if you're innocent, you'll be glad to help the law. All I want is a wallet. And only for a little while. The Lone Ranger carefully outlined the beginning of a plan. And while he talked, he filled in the details. Clive and Parker voiced strenuous objections from time to time. It was half an hour later when the masked man left the house. Meanwhile, Ross and Macy were discussing the success of their first venture in crime and making plans for their next job. Now, let me get this straight, Macy. You say that their next job is at the Double Bar Ranch? Yeah. You see, Ross, there's... Let me be one of the boys. Yeah, Ross, I'll be one of the boys. Get him up, Macy. Hey, what the... My man. You, you too. Get him up. I'll take the gun. Stop yours, Ross. What's the idea? Is this a stick-up? Your, your gun. gun. I'll kick it to me. If you're here for cash, you came to the wrong place. No, I came to the right place. Here, look at this wallet. It has an HP on it. Henry Parker. HP Parker? It's empty now. I collected from him. I have Clive's cut on the grant money, too. Now I want yours. Now hold on. What do you mean, the grant money? You know what I mean. How do we know? We Put it have... on the table and be quick about it. Or shall I use this gun and take it off your body? All right, mister. I don't savvy this, and I'm not admitting anything. Here's all the cash I've got. Put it on that table. There. Now go through that door to the back room. What? What for? Do as I say, Macy. You, Ross, stay where you are. I'll get to you in a minute. All right, come on. I haven't all night. All right, all right. I'm going. Keep your hands high, Ross. Open the door, Macy. Get in there. Oh, you me. What are you doing? Hold it, Ross. Ross stood staring at the cold-blooded way in which the masked man fired two shots after shoving Macy into the rear room. You, you shot him. Let Sandusky take the blame. Did you do the same to, to Parker and Clive? The boss figures a three-way split is better than six ways. Three ways, huh? I thought all along he and Lever were pretty thick with each other. But what do you come in? I have ideas, Ross. Now I'll turn out your cash. Who's on the table with Macy's? Of all the dirty double crosses. Now look, you don't have to kill me. You're not needed anymore. Furthermore, when the law finds all four of the men who claim they saw Sandusky, it will look like revenge. Yeah, I see. Well, you got Macy because he didn't know it was coming. Me, I don't aim to get shot in the back. I'd rather take a chance and take this. What the fuck? <laughs> The Lone Ranger intentionally fired high as Ross leaped through the window after spilling the table to put the masked man off balance. Abject fear lent speed to Ross as he raced away from the house. He soon was breathless and slowed to a walk when he thought he was safe from pursuit. But he walked with grim purpose directly to the house where Taggart lived. Hello, Taggart. Oh, it's you, Ross. Come on in. You along? Well, Lever's in the other room. I see. Hey, what's the matter with you, Ross? You're acting mighty strange. Mind if I look at that gun you're wearing? Look at it? What for? Just want to see it, that's all. I... I lost mine. Well, I noticed the empty leather. Oh, <laughs> I get it. You think I swiped your gun? Well, that's all it's eating you. Let's have a look at yours. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Have a good look. Thanks, Taggart. Now I'll play the part of a masked man. Instead, he don't move and don't yell. Hey, give me back that gun. Have you gone loco? A three-way split is better than a six-way, huh, Taggart? Uh, now hold it. Don't try to jump me. You know, see here. You see here. Your masked pal got Macy, but he missed out on me. I got away from him. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. You sent the killer to get me and Macy the same as he got Clive and Parker. You sent him to collect our share of the grant money. Why, you... You and Lever would have cut him in instead of the four of us. Well, I'm taking over. I'll get you, and when Lever comes to see what the shot meant, I'll get him. Then the masked man. I'm taking all of Abner Grant's cash. Savvy, all of it. Now, wait, Ross, you're wrong. I didn't send any one. Take it, you lie. I'm Stop telling that you. Gun. The masked man. You, I'll get you. Hey, you winged him, Ross. Uh, I'll finish him for you. I'll get the gun. No, you don't. Go. Take another reach for that gun, and I'll break your hand. Sheriff, Mom, you... Mom is smart. Shut up, Taggart. Oh. Get some damage to the masked man. It's, it's not much, Sheriff. Oh. Takes a shot faster than I thought he would. Sheriff, where'd you come The Indian and I were in the back room, Taggart. Also a couple of deputies who are still there to take care of your pal, Lever. Deputies? We heard enough to put you and Lever and Ross and the other three where all of you belong. In jail. But, 
The other three? They're dead. That masked man shot us. <laughs> Thought that for sure, didn't you, Ross? Well, you see, Parker and Clive are tied and gagged in my house. What? Macy is fixed the same way. <laughs> that man didn't shoot Macy? No. Me and the boys were in that room. And when Macy was shoved in, we grabbed him. I thought he was killed. You thought I was playing the double cross game. So you came here and shut your mouth off. Just as you were supposed to do. That, that masked man. Oh, if I could just get another shot. Well, he's leaving. Hey, wait. You can take it from here, Sheriff. But you better get that wound fixed. It's just a scratch. How will fix it? Adios. Adios. All right, you two. Get to the back room where there's handcuffs waiting. If that mask man had been around... Maggot, you were a fool to try your game. If you checked up, you'd have learned that the Sandusky gang had all been hanged. And you'd have realized that the man who captured those crooks would come here quick if he heard that Sandusky had returned from the dead. You see, the man who got you got Sandusky. He's the Lone Ranger. by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Enterprises, and directed by Charles D. Livingston. Tonight's drama was written by Fran Stryker, the part of the Lone Ranger.